Hi friends, today's lesson is for Module 4, Lesson 23. Our learning goal for today says, I can decompose 7 using objects and drawings. I'm super excited because today we're going to be working with 7. Did you know that 7 is considered a lucky number? Well, 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 today must be our lucky day. Let's use my favorite, favorite math tool to help us decompose 7. Can you guess? Ah, the number bond. I love a good number bond, of course. Okay, so I'm going to tell you, I'm going to show you the different pieces to this number bond, and then we're going to talk about how it shows decomposing 7. Are you ready? Okay, so of course our whole amount for today is going to be 7. Thank you very much, that lucky number. Here are the parts of this 7. One part is 5, and the other part is 2. So I could say this number bond shows the whole amount of 7 and the part 5 and the part 2. Do you agree? Oh, good, perfect. Now watch what I'm going to do. Oh, I put an X on that part. Hey, when we're drawing our good pictures and we're doing those quick circles and we put X's on there, what does that mean? You're right, it means taking away. So, hey, do you think this number bond shows a taking away or a subtraction sentence? Yeah, it does, right? I had seven and I took how many away? Two. So that must mean I should have the other part left. So how many should I have left? Five, because our number bond works together to show the whole amount and the two parts. All right, let's check ourselves with a good drawing, okay? I'm not sure if this will work, but I hope and I think that it will. All right, so there's that number bond with the two crossed out. We're taking away the two. That X is there to show that a change has been made, right? And we do that with our circles. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw the whole amount and then we'll make that change. So I'm gonna draw seven and what strategy should I use to make it really organized? Yes, our five groups. So count with me, friend. One, two, three, four, five. And then I'm going to leave a little space, or I can go down to the next row. Six, seven. Do you see how I kept it very organized and neat right underneath it? Can you see my five group clearly? Oh, good. Well, then I did a nice job. All right, how am I going to make that change? It said that I took away two. So on my picture of my circles, what am I going to do? Ding, ding, ding. I'm going to cross out two to show that change. One, two. Okay. Okay. We guessed that if we had seven and a part of five and two, and we took away the two, what would be the other part that's left over? Yes, five. Go ahead and count. Did we do that right? One, two, three, four, five. We did do it correctly. Ah, oh, we're so good. I knew it. Did you know it? Yeah, I thought you did. Okay, so super duper challenge. Now that we've done that beautiful work with our drawing. Do you think you can tell me a number sentence where you start with seven and you take away two and then you end up with five? Go ahead and say one to me out loud. Ooh, I like that. Did you say seven minus two equals five? Yes, because that matches our number bond and our picture. We had seven, we subtracted two or took away two, and then we ended up with five. Excellent job, friend. I'm going to have you do one. Can you grab your dry erase board and a marker? And I'm going to have you do this next one with me since you're doing such a phenomenal job. All right, press pause while you get your stuff. Press play when you're ready. Okay, so here we go. Here's a new number bond. You don't have to write that down. That's fine. What's the whole amount in the number bond, friend? Yes, it's seven. Can you tell me the two parts? Perfect. Four and three. All right, so watch what happens. I'm gonna take one away. I'm gonna take four away. Now you know that I made a change because what happened to my number bond? Yes, I put an X up there. And the X stands for taking away or subtracting. So are you already, I bet you are, are you already picturing in your brain making that good movie of what you think is gonna happen with your drawing? You can't even take it anymore, can you, friend? You're just dying to do it, I knew it. All right. Let's go ahead and let's draw our whole amount. Go ahead and draw your quick circles. Make sure you do them in your five group and you can either have your um, the rest of the circles on the other side of the space or right underneath it in a nice neat row. While you draw your seven, I'm gonna draw mine. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, now you check your good work. Is your um, seven picture very organized and neat? Yeah, if it's not, you can press pause and erase it and fix it because the thing is, we're getting to big numbers and being organized is just as important as anything else. So you wanna make sure they're nice and tidy. Okay, so here we go. You have your seven circles and now what are we gonna do? We need to show a change. What are we gonna do to those circles? To show the change that we see in our number bond, what are we gonna do? Yes, we're gonna cross out how many? Four, because we're taking away four as we see in our number bond. Go for it, friend. Put X's on four of them. One, two, three, four. You're probably like, Miss Arwood, why are you starting way here, way down here, and why don't you just start with that first one? Remember I said I like to get rid of the extra ones first and leave that five group as whole as I can. And so I just start from the bottom and work backwards when I cross off. All right. That should mean if we took away four, how many do we have left? Ding, ding, ding. Yeah, three. One, two, three. Perfecto. Okay, we did amazing. Can you write a number sentence to show what happened? We had seven, we took away four, and we ended up with three. Can you write a subtraction sentence to match that? Press pause while you think of one, and then press play to check yourself. Okay, so I know I had seven, and I subtracted four. And when I did that, I ended up with three. See how our number bond matches our picture, matches our number sentence. How'd you do, friend? Ooh, very good. I love that you're working so hard. And this is great, friend, because I feel like you understand how they're all connected and how to show that change with putting the X's, which is great, because our learning goal said, I can decompose seven using objects and drawings. We've mostly been focusing on drawings, but you can do it with the objects as well. All right, it's your turn. I cannot wait to see all of the good work that you're going to do. This is what you're gonna see, saw to me. See how I have my number bond? I'm gonna make a change, all right? I want you to show that in a drawing to me that matches the number bond, and then if you feel really amazing, write a number sentence to match it too. All right, good luck, friends.